Hello everyone, Pallet Tomer, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. In today's episode of the A through Z playthrough, we have landed on Vala. Now, I know introducing new systems to the game is a little difficult, but when I've played 25 games of Hero League this season, which is more than I ever do, and I still see this sitting at 0-0, it's so depressed. I just wanted to get that out. It's been building up for a few days, you know? I've been playing more Hero League recently than I do ever. I placed Diamond 4. I placed Diamond 4, and it's gone! All right, so Vala hasn't changed much in the past year. Um, she got a rework in September of last year that basically made it so she didn't always have to go Scattershot. But hey, turns out Scattershot's still pretty good. She also has a pretty decent auto attack build in there if you wanted to do that. And she has a build that focuses on her Hungering Arrow. So, arguably the best assassin in the game's history is still the best assassin in the game's history. She has really diverse builds. She can kind of build to fit any situation. She has some survivability thrown in here with a pretty good spell shield that's unique to her character. It works around her trait. And uh, she's able to heal herself fairly early on. Or did I make that up? No, 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 no. She has to pick between the two. So, uh, Vala, very, very squishy, though. Very, very squishy. Super high skill ceiling to really make her work. And in today's video, I'm going to do her Q build, which I've never done before. And uh, we're going to try to get some damage out of that. It focuses more on high burst single target damage, which, you know, I should like. That sounds fun. I stand ready. Look at that twirl. I kind of want to see that again. <laughs> bless me! Ugh, bless me! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Warhead Junction today. Level one, we are gonna go for Monster Hunter. Reduces, well, let's read the actual description. Reduces the mana cost of Hungry Arrow by 40 and increases damage it deals to minions, mercenaries, and monsters. This is actually a viable build to pick up on Battlefield of Eternity if you're looking to try to get some more damage out of your team for the objective. Uh, we're just picking it to try to deal more damage. We, we want the lower mana cost. We can probably kill a boss with it at some point. I mean, I've never tried, but... Hey, let's give it a go. Why not? The friendly team, Vala, Leoric, Arthas, Minithil, Sylvanas, and Nova, the enemy team, Nazibo, Hanzo, Chromie, Garrosh, and Varian, Rin. Uh, so at level four, we get a stacking quest for this ability. We don't have that stacking ability just yet, so... Um, I mean, we don't need to go in, even though I'm going to get pulled by Garrosh anyway. All right, great. Good talk, Garrosh. I hope you die. Not just in this game. I hope you die in general. Just, like, out of this game. Wait a minute. Are you already dead, Garrosh? Do they already kill you off? All right. I feel a little bit better. Our Q ability, Hungering Arrow, is what the main focus of our build is going to be today. Fire this off in a straight line. It hits a... Wow, it's a Christmas ornament. Uh, fire it off in a straight line. It hits a target and then moves to other targets. Uh, notice how squishy we are. Okay, I didn't think we were that squishy. All right. Uh, at level four, we're going to get a quest that increases the damage the more we hit heroes with it. So if we're in a solo lane, we want to be throwing this off versus the variant down here as much as possible. Our W ability is multi-shot. I think I called it scatter shot or something at the beginning. Uh, multi-shot just hits an area in front of us. There are builds that rely on this for the majority of their damage, and they do very well. And if you want to go down that route, you are more than able to. Our E ability is Vault, and this gives us increased attack damage after we Vault uh, for one attack. But it also just moves us a short distance, allows us to get away from skill shots like, I don't know, maybe that Garrosh is. We're going to be using this in our build, though, to also reset our Hungering Arrow cooldown. So we can throw that out a little bit more. Uh, the enemy team's missing. Is it safe to assume that they're getting a camp? I guess not. I guess not. Can I get camps? Can I get camps with this build? I have no idea, team. I'm trying to figure it out. Like I said, there uh, weren't very many changes with Vala at all. I don't think I can get this camp. Oh, actually, hello. I can kind of kite them around, but they have that debuff. Okay, we're going to come back for that. We're going to come back for that. That was a little bit of a learning experience there. Uh, so all in all, what you have is a very, very delicate assassin that is capable of dealing astronomical amounts of damage. Like, crazy high burst damage. Uh, but you kind of have to farm it up. So we have Puncture Arrow here. Now we just need to hit Varian as often as possible. Missing there, obviously, uh, puts a little bit of a detriment on our progress. I'm going to rotate... I kind of want to rotate up top just because there's more people up there. 
but I guess we'll stay here. It really does need to be our goal to be hitting Varian with this ability every nine seconds. Uh, but he kind of needs to walk forward for that. Once it does hit a target, it does circle around two additional times. If Varian's the only person in range, then he takes all of the shots. But if he's standing in the middle of a minion wave, for instance... Okay, first of all, he was straight in front of me. How did that not hit? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, if he's the only enemy in the area, then it will circle around to him a couple of times, like you just saw there. Looks like we only get quest progress for the first hit. Uh, and we have to do this 20 times, 20 times to finish our quest. Once the quest is completed, we do get additional, da we do get additional damage, however. Uh, by the way, you need to nuke the... Do we just nuke the wall now? So the 2018 gameplay changes are in the game. I was talking about that with the Valera video a little bit. There's no additional towers here. I kind of want to get the wall down first. Um, the... Uh, there's one less tower here, so these towers in front have more health to compensate for the lack of tower in the back. Um, so you can either fire off your nuke right at the middle of the wall to damage the towers, do more damage there, or I guess you could save it and kind of push in here. And that was my plan. Uh, this actually should do a pretty good amount of damage to the tower as well. Now we're going to pick up Repeating Arrow at level 7 which allows us to vault and refresh the cooldown of our Hungry Arrow. So, in a, in a perfect world, may, maybe we could burst someone down. The idea is we kind of build up our damage as we go, right? Uh, Leoric wants to steal this camp away from the enemy team. I am completely okay with that. We could go ahead and throw out all of our mana. That's basically all of, all of our burst damage there. That wasn't that bad. Now we kind of have to wait on cooldowns. I am noticing that I, I typically have more mana than I would. Maybe that's because of the more region globes being in lane, though. I think that has more to do with uh, our mana situation than the build. Uh, looks like Variant is pretty far forward here. We'll hit him with one Hungering Arrow roll, hit him with another. And look at that burst damage start to roll out there, boys. Not bad at all. Garrosh rotating down. I am totally fine chasing him because... I needed to get that quest stack. Now that we have it, we'll just back up a little bit and continue to lane with our good buddy, Leoric. I mean, he's doing pretty well. He's doing pretty well. He's keeping me safe. We've been fighting one guy here. Everywhere else in the game seems to be going pretty okay. So I guess we're just going to hang out with our buddy, Leoric. It looks like Sylvanas is taking a mercenary camp over here. We can go help her do that really quick. Leoric rotating the middle to get that XP. Hey, you all right? You got it? Don't worry. I'll take that over for you. I don't mind. I don't mind taking credit for that. Uh, we do have a death up in the top lane. Nova being taken down by the Chromie Hanzo combo. I gotta say, that's not something I want to be anywhere near. It's a little too much burst damage for me, boys. That hungry arrow does miss Varian. See, look how... Oh, God. Look how much damage he was able to deal to me. Like, we have no HP. With this build, we do get a little bit of self-sustain, but it's, it's at level 13. Which is, I guess, exactly when you normally get sustain on, on Bala. Hey, thank you for throwing me straight up and down. I appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. We're going to go for Reign of Vengeance here at level 10. This is our heroic ability. We can use this to stun targets like this Hanzo who don't know what they're fucking with. What killed me? I didn't know what I was fucking with. Really? That was an auto attack? Really? I thought he was stunned, Blizzard. I thought he was stunned. I thought that's what my ult does. The ult does stun. It has two charges, stuns everything in a straight line, and deals some damage. The idea is we can Q, W, Vault, Q, auto attack, and press R all at the same time, basically, to deal a ton of burst damage. So if I ever find myself in range of that Hanzo again, we can tell him a thing or two about a thing or two, or at least that's the, that's the current plan right now. That's what we're going to try to do. Like I said, never played this build before, so uh, still, still learning. Still seeing how the, all this goes. Looks like we're still contesting the nuke up in the top lane. Walking into a Chromie time trap there. Uh, can she interrupt me here? Yep. Oh, using your vault for that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, I believe there was a Hanzo beneath us as well. So the enemy team likely rotating up here in force. Let's throw out a Hungering Arrow. Let's try to deal a little bit of damage. Obviously, we can't do too much for that uh, Arthas. Way too deep for us to really aid him at all. The enemy team looking like they want to rotate down here now. We'll just go ahead and get another stack there, bringing us up to 11 out of the 20 we need 
to complete our quest. You know what? We're going to hang out with Leoric some more. Leoric seems to have his head on straight. You know, Leoric's playing his own game away from the Chromie and the Hanzo, and I like that. I like that about him. We can get this wall down, grab the two regen globes there, and be in pretty good shape. Uh, fire off the Hungering Arrow, missing Chromie by just a little bit. Oh, the mind control coming out. Let's go ahead and throw out all of our abilities, then roll forward, fire off a Hungering Arrow, and completely miss Garrosh somehow. God, I, I'm so bad at this. Uh, I do want to help out Leoric, but we need to be careful with our positioning because we are so squishy and we do not have a support right now to help us out. So we just need to bide our time here. Arthas is rotating down, uh, but I really don't think there's too much I could do when Hanzo's capable of poking me from that far away. I do genuinely feel like Vala is another one of those characters that can be played at a whole nother level if she has a support keeping her alive. Picking Tassadar to go into Avala is such a boon for her that she's able to play an entirely different style of game, like a hyper-aggressive style of game that is really, really hard for uh, enemy teams to deal with. Uh, we do see Chromie using her rewind on our Sylvanas. Let's go ahead and try to burst down this Varian. Looks like we will be able to do that no problem. That was a parry Varian we just bursted down by using all of our abilities in tandem with each other q w auto attack e i probably e auto attack after the e not before and then using our ult to keep him still so we could fire off another q we have 13 stacks on our hungering arrow and now we're going to pick up siphoning arrow volley heals for 75 percent of the damage dealt to heroes by hungering arrow so all of our sustain rely or is completely dependent on us landing this ability all of our sustain so we need to make sure we land that. Remember, we can fire off two of these at one time. I kind of want to just flank these guys and see how it goes. We have our ult off cooldown now. I'm going to give it a go. Oh, she's going to bite, bite right out of there. She was scared. Where'd the Nazebo go? We see Hanzo jumping around in the top lane versus Leoric. It doesn't look like that's going too well for him. And he is going to be taken down now. If we want to get this camp, I'm totally okay with that. Can I take boss? I wonder. I wonder if I could take boss. I kind of want to just find out. I mean, if I can't, I'm going to look really dumb, right? I'm going to look really stupid. Maybe we need to finish our quest before I try. I don't really know. Uh, everyone on the enemy team... Well, never mind. I was going to say they're currently missing, but they did pop up in the middle lane. Uh, we also are going to have someone rotating here. It is going to be Garage Hellscream, who we are going to melt down and get a two free easy stacks right there for our quest, bringing us up to 16 out of the 20 that we need. After we can finish the, uh, finish the quest, we do get a pretty sizable damage bonus, so I kind of do want to get that done. Oh, I shouldn't have vaulted. I should have just stunned, and then I would have had her. I would have had her. Oh, that's a big toad. Watch out, Nova. It's a big toad. Uh, we are nuke at the top lane right now. Nazebo trying to fend off this aggression. Uh, Hanzo also in the area somewhere. We, we know he's here because of the... Uh, Vision that he's granting his team. Oh, I missed the stun. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. We had a little bit of help from our Nova. Okay. We had a lot of help from our Nova player there, but I probably could have burst her down by myself. At least I like to think I could have. Uh, let's push this lane back into the tower. Keep this pressure going here. All right. Fuck it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't know what I'm supposed to take here. Probably, probably uh, our trait, right? Go away. Go underground. Go underground. Go to No, don't reset. I said go underground. I've never done this before, team! I don't think it's working. <laughs> I know it's possible. At least with the other boss model, the one that doesn't leave ads everywhere, I know it's possible for Vala to solo that if she can kite it around adequately. But like I said, I've never done it before. I don't have enough experience. Looks like EB team is pushing in the bottom lane right now. Let's go try to stop them with the rest of our allies. This is going to be a 5v4. Four? Wow, Varian actually dealing a lot of damage there as he dives Sylvanas under the tower. Now making his way in to fight Arthas. I don't think that's going to go too well for him. The Hungry Arrow does land and we do take him down. Not going to use my ultimate just yet. We're going to hold on to that. Uh, got rewound by the enemy team's Chromie. Honestly, I didn't even notice. Um, I want to make this work, but like seriously, one Chromie Q, one Hanzo Q. And we're just kind of dead, so I'm trying to play cautious here. 
Uh, Hanzo is overextended now. Maybe we could take him down. Look at that fucking damage! Look at that fucking damage! And we completed our quest. Hey, nice. Now we have that going. So, first impressions on this build seems pretty fun. I never really thought it was going to be for me. I always really enjoyed multi shot. I enjoyed dealing a lot of damage around, but this kind of picks up. This kind of makes Vala feel a lot like Nova in a lot of ways, where you're looking for those isolated targets trying to deal as much damage as possible uh, before they can move. Very combo oriented too, but with all the low cooldowns you have here and the fact that you're able to reset your Q cooldown, seems pretty intuitive. Our Q is hitting for a thousand damage on its initial impact on these guys, which is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of damage. Consider we could, we could throw two of those out at a time. Here, I'm getting power hungry though. <laughs> you gonna parry, bro? You gonna parry? Look at that! Oh my god! Oh, I missed the stun. Uh, we are going to need to roll away from him. We did land the hungry arrow though, so he is hurting pretty bad. He was also a little bit more vulnerable because of those fire bats. Uh, so let's keep that in mind. Good mic control on Garrosh is gonna secure a kill on him as well. Now I want to deal some damage here, but we just have to be careful about it. Uh, we don't have our heroic ability up. It looks like our team is more or less getting out of the area. All right, I'm waiting, waiting for the opportune time. Oh, we missed. Ah, was it enough? I don't think it was enough. I tried, team. I tried. Uh, we do have my ult now, and cooldown's almost ready to go again. I kind of want to go back in. I kind of want to go back in. Are we distracting them anywhere else at least, so I might be able to do this? I don't think so. Okay, rolled, so we don't have everything off cooldown. All right, fuck it. I give up. I give up. We're backing up. We're backing up. Now, we only heal versus heroes. I'm try I want to try this again. Can I? Can I make it happen? Can my dreams come true? Whoop. Kind of. Oh, no. Hanzo's here. Fuck. No, just stop. Stop, stop doing it. Stop, everything's going poorly all of a sudden. <laughs> Just let it go, let it go. I think I can solo that. I mean, I'm level 20. I probably shouldn't be doing that right now. But hey, they're pushing top. They're getting that. That's kind of fun. Uh, we could go for Rancor here or Far Flight Quiver. This would increase our attack range, making us a little bit more uh, able to poke at the enemy team here. It looks like Sylvanas isn't going to be able to go out that way. So the reason you nuke the... Yeah, you you have to nuke the the wall directly to kill it now. That's weird. Nice pickup down in the bottom lane. Nova taking out the enemy team's Hanzo. Uh, are we going to hold on to our Leoric here as he's towering down the middle lane with three people in chase? Looks like he's going to be just fine. They kind of lost interest. Earth is taking a camp up in the top lane. I want to solo a boss. I want to solo a boss real bad. I don't quite have the technique down for it, but I really do feel like I could do it. So we need to push him into the Baneling phase like right away, or the phase where he's burrowing underground right away. So that would be two Qs. Q, W, E, auto attack Q would be the most burst damage that we could do. You know, I'm coming. I'll help out. This looks ridiculous. I'm on my way. Let's hope he stays. Okay, never mind. Get back. I love that the fact that this is on a, a two uh, charge system now. Back in the day, that was just a you hit it once and that's the ability. Can he kill us? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not with not with everyone else still rotating down on the enemy team to that exact spot. Let's play a little cautious at least. A little cautious. Hey, if they're distracting, you, maybe I can go for boss now. <laughs> Maybe that's a thing I could do. It seems so stupid. Okay, let's take their camp. Let's go for an easy one. Let's go for. We're not even distracting them anymore. I need to wait for them to show on the map before I push up. And oh god. Uh. How did you fucking know? Are you kidding me? And then I get b-stepped by everyone on the team. Go fuck yourselves. Yo, know, those map hacks right there. Those, those goddamn map hacks. 
<laughs> he didn't see me at all. It's garbage. Mind control being used on Garrosh. Ready to go around in circles. She actually has the upgraded mind control there. March of the Black King is going to miss everyone. Sylvanas with a little bit of health left, but the poison from Nazebo will take care of that pretty quickly for her. Garrosh is going to be taken down by the Nova Snipe. And now we see Leoric walking away as Chromie's still dealing a lot of damage to him. Uh, Nova once again opening up with some snipes, has a nuke in her hands and is going to lose that as Hanzo takes her down. Arthas is going to be able to drop the nuke of the enemy team's Nazebo, however, and he still has some health to go. He's still marching around. He's still trying to interrupt two different things right now. He can definitely deal enough damage to this Chromie to make her second guess herself. Oh, both of these guys rooted now. The Gargantuan for Nazebo is getting so much value up here. Arthas in the 1v2 is going to win! Wow, good job, good job. Let's boss. I really want a boss. Boss sounds fun. Let's do that. Uh, Chromie, the only one left alive for the enemy team, currently defending the top lane right now. Yo, yo, yo let's do this, let's do this. Currently defending the top lane right now, so I'm just going to try to burst this down as fast as I can with the help of our Leoric buddy over here. That is a really respectable amount of burst damage. That's really respectable. Did we skip a phase? Or is this a timed thing? I don't understand the boss mechanics enough. All right, so this is gonna be pushing the bottom lane. We have two nukes in our possession that we can use to also deal damage to the bottom lane, which means we have a pretty good chance of actually going core right now. I'm gonna grab this nuke down here. Uh, nuke, boss, or, or bot in court. Or, you know, just fucking nuke middle for, for no reason. Okay. Oh, we still have three nukes, though. Okay, we're nuking another one. All right. There's literally nothing to be gained in middle. The boss could go to the core if he doesn't have a keep to go through. The middle keep was just, just going to stand there. It, did, it wasn't really a thing that was in our way, you know? All right, well, if everyone on the enemy team is going to ignore me, I'm just going to stay down here and DPS this down, and then I'll nuke the core myself. Yo, they're legit just ignoring me. Look at this. Look at this fight's going on. They don't even care. Well, I can do the right thing. Uh, vault. Let's use my ult. I just try to deal as much damage as fast as we can. Uh, we can dodge as much of this chromey stuff as possible. This Nazebo, really low on HP. I don't care. We're trying to deal damage to the core, and it looks like... We will win the game. Right? They can't stop that. No, they can't stop that at all. All right. Well, that sums up Vala. I don't really know what I'm doing with this build, but it was fun. How was our damage? It was low. <laughs> we died a lot. That'll happen, though. Uh, I can definitely see how this build would be good on Battlefield of Eternity, and I've seen it used there to great success many, 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 many times. Like I said, I'm personally a fan of the auto attack build and the multi-shot build of, of, uh, of Vala. Did I say Nova earlier? I meant Vala. Uh, and I wanted to just try out something new today. Since she hasn't changed much this year, we can take a different look at her instead of going over the changes. You want to follow along at home the build I use today. I don't know if this one is optimal or not. Definitely the early game portion is optimal. Uh, Monster Hunter, Puncturing Arrow, Repeating Arrow, Rain of Vengeance, Siphoning Arrow, Seething Hatred, and Far Flight Quiver. What'd I get? Garbage. Reroll. Actually, that wasn't bad. That was better. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.